Peace family, Tanja Queen here. And for some of y'all who saw my previous video I made a little while back, talking about signs that you are an incarnated angel or an incarnated God, right? Basically, just a brief summary, that video is just talking about um, people who are not of this world, people who have the genetic bloodline of the gods, of the fallen angels, the Nephilim, um, the Anunnaki. And there are certain signs and, and clues that may have happened in your early childhood. Um, some signs and clues that they come to you in your dreams. Um, little patterns and things that they leave behind to remind us that we are a part of their lineage. We are one of their seeds. So basically in this video, I want to talk more about, okay, so I found out that I'm a child of the Anunnaki or I'm a child of the stars, so now what do I do? I'm a star seed, so now where do I go, right? Like once you identify that you are a god, then it's like, okay, well, I'm ready to do the work. Like what? where do I start? Where do I sign up, you know? So um, basically, for some of you that have been following my channel, you know that I use this platform as a means to not only to heal and enlighten, but also to recruit those sleeping giants or the sleeping angels because the time is now for us to wake up to our purpose, to our calling, what the gods have for us to do. Um, and we took on this mission because we are warriors. It's not easy being a human being. It's not easy, you know, being a god trapped inside of this, this flesh, this body. It limits us. So one of the things that we have to realize is, okay, we have certain abilities and powers, right, than other human beings. So understand too that with great power also comes great responsibility. With that being said, just because you have a gift, a certain power, doesn't mean that you have to abuse it, you understand? Um, because one thing the spirits do, or the gods do, when they bless you or they anoint you with the oil of um, gladness or the oil of blessings over your, your peers, if you show out, if you show people your gifts, like um, there was this guy on Facebook, he had this gift of um, telekinesis. He can move things with his hands, right? And so his friend was recording it, like, oh, look what my friend could do, look what my friend could do. And that video was removed in 24 hours and that guy's page was blocked, like that you couldn't even find him anymore. So I'm like, okay, when you have these gifts and abilities, you have to have a low profile. If you have the gift to see certain things, if you can move things with your mind, if you can start fires, if you can manipulate energy, um, if you could do all of these mystical, magical things, you need to keep silent, move in silence. Do not brag about what you do, okay? The ancients of old, that's why you always found them living in the wilderness, living out of civilization because they used to hide. There's been witch hunts and people looking for the mystical children, the star seeds for years now. Why do you think that they always have these blood drives and they say, oh, donate your blood and all of this other stuff? They doing checks to see what blood type you have and they wanna, they basically, when you give your blood, there's certain phenotypes, certain genetic codes that they're looking for when they take your blood. This is why they make it so mandatory for children to have all of these shots and blood tests and all this other stuff, right? But the truth of the matter is, they just want to know if you're the child of Anunnaki. And then once they find out who you are, they pretty much are following you, tracking your every movement, tracking everything that you do, your Facebook, social media, okay? Best believe that the FBI and certain other entities own social media facebook twitter um instagram you name it they are up there even on youtube you know there's really no platform that is completely safe however this is the age of knowing so the truth is going to come to the light especially with the solar eclipse that just passed in august what like whew. so much energy is happening the solar eclipse the lunar eclipse the, the equinox that just passed, all of these alignments, the stars are lining up, and the truth is just coming. It's being thrown in our face. People who can't take it, they're either going crazy, and the children of the sun, the children of the moon, the children of the stars are waking up to their purpose now, and they're stepping forward. They're like, if you just wake up one day like, you know what, I feel like I gotta change what I'm doing. I don't wanna be at this job anymore. Or, you know, I don't wanna be in school and take this course anymore. This is not really what I wanna do. If you've been living a life for your parents, for your friends, for your teachers, 
be a boss, if you've been living a life that's outside of what you truly are or what you truly desire, then you're not going to have no interest for that. That's going to fall out of alignment. Like the, the universe is going to align you with your true purpose, your true passion. And this is a critical time to really do some soul searching, meditation, insight, shadow work to find out what your powers are, how can you utilize your powers, how can you develop them. And one of the key things that you have to learn is self-discipline. Self-disciplining yourself to know the foods that you should not be eating. Okay, have to keep your body hydrated. Understand that water, energy travels through water, through fluids. Okay, um, the more hydrated you are, the better you are able to channel this information, channel energy from the, the stars, from your star family, from Sirius, from anywhere that they may be. You have to know where your star family come from. You have to know where do you originate. You have to know, you, it's like a calling, you know, just Sit down, take some time, meditate, think about your childhood, the signs that you had, certain things that you were interested in, um, little talents that you had that you probably forgot. You understand? You're probably really good at um, at drawing, at writing, um, at reading people's energy, at seeing things, seeing having your dreams and seeing things before they happen. Um, noticing that when you're mad that sometimes the weather changes because some of us have the ability to change the weather okay so if you ever felt like you know what you really willed for something to happen so bad and it happened at a snap of a finger then more, more than likely that was you that did that you manipulated energy that's a form of telekinesis when you can move things and see things materialize with just your thoughts understand that the universe is mental and we all have access to this universal power. However, some of us are more connected than others. Some of us have a stronger connection. You understand? Just like Wi-Fi. Some of us have weak connections. Some of us have a strong connection. You understand? But when you're really connected to the source, the universe, the spirit, guides, your ancestors, spiritual angels, whatever you want to call them, they will align you to your purpose. Little things will start to add up. You'll start to see synchronicity in the numbers. You understand? Whether you're driving and you keep seeing 222, two, two, or you're driving and you look at the time, you see 1111. 11. Start paying attention to these signs. Keep a little journal to always keep a journal on you, first of all. Because when these channels come to you, it's going to seem like it's a thought of your own, but it's not your thought. It's actually energy breaking down. And even though it's energetic language, it breaks down where your brain can understand it to whatever language you speak. It doesn't matter if you speak Spanish, Italian, um, um, Yoruba, um, French, Creole, though it's the English, whatever. It does not matter because at the end of the day, the when you're at a certain level, when the gods are at a certain level, they speak from telepathically. You understand? There was no need for language back then. So telepathy is one of the oldest forms of communication in the universe. And people are starting to not really care about money anymore. Like money is just, it matters. Money is a tool that we need in order for us to maneuver and get things and, and to eat and to, you know, develop in this life. However, um, you don't want money to be the end all be all of everything. You don't want to be chasing money and, and not feeding your dreams starve your distractions and feed your focus because a lot of distractions are going to come into your life especially at this time because these entities that want to keep us here in this physical body in this physical world in this physical 3d okay they want to keep us here because they know that we came here to wake up the rest of the humans we came here to tell them like look you're a god you have to wake up you're sleeping Okay, but understand that you don't have a responsibility to save everybody. You're not going to be able to save everybody. But you do have a responsibility to save yourself. Okay, you have to heal yourself. You have to do what you came here to do to figure out who you are, to figure out who your star family is and say, okay, who am I? Where do I come from? What is my, what, what, what gifts, what skills do I have? And how can I utilize these skills, these gifts to assist, to serve, to help, to awaken? to enlighten, to teach, to heal. This is what you are here for, okay? And understand that even though you may be light workers, there, also, there are also some dark workers, and that doesn't necessarily mean evil. Those are the warriors that we need to help us and to defend us in this war that we are in. Light does not 
eradicate everything. Sometimes you have to dibble and dabble in the shadows, okay? This is duality, the yin and the yang energy. But people, family, meditate. Meditate. Meditation, you will find so much information. Some of us, you know, you don't always have to get a reading to know what's going on in your life. Some things you can actually sit down and channel yourself. Some of y'all watching this have the ability to channel and you don't even realize it. You don't even realize that you're channeling. When, whenever you're drawing, you're writing and these ideas just come out of nowhere, that is spirit talking to you. To be inspired to me, to be filled with spirit, to have the spirit inside of you, to be possessed by a divine entity. Your muse, your inspiration. So whenever you get inspired to do something, don't allow your mind to talk you out of it. That is the human side of you that is convincing you to stay here. Listen to your heart. Listen to what it is that you truly want to do and follow that. And I guarantee you, I promise you that it will lead you in the right direction. Your heart will never lead you astray. Your spirit will not misguide you. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. The more that you utilize your intuition, the stronger it gets. It's like a muscle. So keep using it, keep utilizing it, use your talents, whatever it may be, channel, okay? It's time for us to act now, it's time for you to start doing what you came here to do. Time wasting is not, we don't really have much time for you to be wasting time. Ask yourself, are you, you know, aren't you tired of living this life that you know does not belong to you? Aren't you tired of living a life that everybody else expects of you? You're afraid of what people want to think. You're afraid of how powerful you truly are. You don't have no idea how powerful you are, yo. If you only knew, if you only gave life all you got, if you get, I guarantee you, if you gave life a hundred percent, if you gave it all, if you dedicated your, your, your energy, your consciousness, your consciousness is your greatest tool. If you use your greatest tool to get optimum health, to, to master your health, which is your physical body, to master the emotions, which is the heart, to master your mind, which controls the thinking, your manifestation, your ability to manifest, to, to, to master your spirit. If you can master all of these aspects of yourself and you put your 100% into it, do you notice how powerful you will be? They know how powerful we are. That's why they try to keep us in our root chakra. That's why they try to keep us in fear. Let go of your fear. Stop being afraid of yourself. Some of y'all are afraid of yourself because you know what you could do. You know what you could do. Man, listen. The time to fear is no more. Step into your power, man. Stop letting people talk you out of your dreams. Stop letting people tell you that you're nothing because you are special. You are a fucking god. And you need to stop acting like a damn mortal. Stop crying and complaining about mortal shit because there's bigger things in this. Gods don't worry about mortal things. They just look at that stuff and, and they scoff. They laugh at it like these humans are arguing over pettiness. But that's not you because you have a bigger goal. You have a bigger destiny to, to just be complacent with a, a normal mediocre human life. Life will move on you until you step into your power because you have a big destiny and it's time for you to start acting. Time for you to get in alignment. The stars are aligning. The animals sense it. The plant sense it. The planet is waking up. So why are you still sleep? Okay? We gotta wake up our brothers and our sisters. We gotta wake up our star family. We gotta wake up the light bearers, the empaths, the psychics, the oracles, all of them. The children of the Anunnaki, we're here. And don't let them tell you the Anunnaki are all evil. Do your research. Do your research, go with what feels right to you. And don't even believe 100% of everything I say. Question what I say, question what I say. If this feels right to you, follow it. If it doesn't, hey, move on, find something else. You understand? But at the end of the day, we're all on this journey together. And the more that we spread the light and the word, the more people we wake up. You'd be amazed of how many people are watching you. People are watching you. They may not like your post, they may not comment on your feed, they may not you know, say anything to you, but they watching you and they seeing you grow and they seeing your movements and they wondering what she doing, what he up to. Oh, he changed, she changed, they different now. Yeah, I transformed. I was a human, but now I'm a God and I know who I am and I'm walking in my power. And you walk with your head up because you a God. God don't look down, they look up, okay? So walk in your power. You are powerful all day. So 
with that being said, share this video with anybody who you know might be a light bearer, a God who needs to wake up. Share this. Let's wake up our brothers and our sisters because the time is now. And if you haven't joined Divine Royalty, join Divine Royalty. Facebook.com slash group slash Divine Royalty. I also add the link in the description, guys. So share and like and tell me what you think. If you're a light bearer, if you're a messenger, spread the light, spread the word. Until next time, guys, Conja Queen signing out. Peace.